hey, drove over to Flint today. It may be 16 degrees and freezing, but it's on fire inside at the Chrome and Ice Car Show. Well, let's head on in and see what we can find. This is a 74 Camaro. Um, it's got an LS2 in it, fuel injected. Um, Synergy green. It's got Corvette brakes on it, um, line locks, uh, vintage air, uh, shaved door handles and trunk and everything like that. All push pop to open the doors. Um, just a really good all around driving car, great cruiser. Um, can be going 90 down the highway, let go of the steering wheel and not have to worry about it. And just fun car all around to have. What do you normally do with it? Uh, just cruise it. It's just a cruiser. Yep.
Okay, uh, this bike was bought brand new in 2005, uh, Shiawassee Harley-Davidson. Uh, the gentleman had it for approximately a year. He sent it out to Wisconsin, had the bike disassembled. Every part was dipped in chrome, uh, reassembled, sent back here to Michigan. The gentleman also was a Patriot rider. He uh, rode a lot of military services, uh, funerals and things like that. Unfortunately, he became ill in 2015. I was able to purchase the bike just as it sits in 2017. Uh, I do ride it every single day to showcase its, its beauty and its, its class and try to keep it the way the, the owner made it in the first time. Uh, it's a, a rideable uh, work of art.
yeah, this here is the 68 Camaro we built for Bob Sally. Um, cool gentleman. He's owned the car since 1969. I drove the car, had a lot of fun, parked it in 1987. And he brought it to us. We got to finish it up for him. Uh, it is an original RSSS car. We've went through and back half to the car, done a ton of metal work to it. Um, but we wanted to finish it off and kind of keep it the original style of the car. But it's a street car. You know, he drives it and enjoys it. It's got about a 400 horse small block. Um, and you know, he enjoys the car, loves it. He's taken it to a lot of shows. Um, you can see, oh, they keep the original interior in it. It is the original color of the car. Um, and what's cool about it is you don't see a whole lot of pro street cars with a vinyl top. So, you know, he wanted to keep that kind of style. So uh, the build took us about a year and a half or so, uh, start to finish. You know, we, we tore it down, did all the metal work, body and paint assembly. Um, and we got to finish it up this past July for the gentleman, and he's gotten to enjoy it. Um, so we brought it out here today. Um, beginning of March, we'll take it to Detroit Autorama. We get to show it off, and, you know, he'll get to enjoy it again this summer. So under the hood, we have a small block 383. Um, it's a very mild setup, about 400 horsepower. Uh, you know, his goal with the car is to make it dependable and drivable. Uh, so we didn't go really crazy. It's carbureted, um, and he wanted to keep everything clean. There's no AC, no clutter under the hood. Just a really nice, usable car. Uh, you know, we've done a handful of things to kind of clean up the engine bay, hide the wiring, um, black out some of the things like the hood hinges and the panels. Um, has a be cool radiator in it to keep the car super cool even on the hottest days. So how many hours do you think you guys worked on it? Um, it's hard to say, you know, between the, the year, year and a half, it's been quite a few hours. Um, I, I don't have a number, unfortunately, but it's quite a few. You know, these builds and stuff, they're a labor of love for us. You know, we, we take as much pride in the car as the owner does. You know, it, it's a part of the family. You know, this, this gentleman's owned this car for many years, had a lot of memories in it, and we get, we get to help him make memories again. Well, I've owned the car since 1969. I bought it when I was a senior in high school. And it's always been a dream to have it built this way. So I went to American Gasser with my dream and sat down and talked to the crew and they made my dream come true. You know, they we talked about it through the whole build. Any questions, we sat down, discussed it, and yeah, they made my dream come true when they built it for me. So what do you do with the car mostly? We drive it. It was built to drive. Uh, we don't trailer it any place. It's we go to shows all over in Michigan, and yeah, really proud of proud of the car and the, the job they done for me. And it's had so many things done to it in the past that I did myself, but they made my dream come true when they built it. 